by the way, I, I have like some beef with you guys uh, because I did not get to defend myself about me saying I didn't like I've never eaten a taco. I didn't get to explain. I didn't get to explain. And so now everyone just thinks I'm stupid. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is why I've never eaten a taco. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like sour cream and I don't like lettuce. So it just becomes meat, meat chip. So like, why, why would I, why would I eat that? What's the point? Uh, if you, if you could believe it, I hate tea and, and I, I proceed to drink it. And I, I'm guessing you all like tea or something, uh, drink it, but it, it tastes like pond water, but there was still like frogs and shit still in there. What do you even like? I like burritos. That's the other thing. Why would I eat a taco if I would, if, 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 if I could just eat a burrito? It's just a better taco and it's bigger. What's the point? I don't like sushi. Everyone's always trying to get me to eat sushi. Whenever I, whenever I try, they're always like, okay, this is sushi. It's really good. Everyone loves sushi. I don't like how much I'm putting in my mouth. It's like, it's like a, a softball going into my mouth, but people are like, oh, you got to eat it in one bite. It's like, if I ate sushi, I'd probably cut it into like quarters and then I'd eat it little by little. But they're like, no, you can't do that. Were you stupid? So I just don't, I just don't try sushi anymore. I, I'm done with that. I'm, I'm just not going to try. I'm just not going to try. That's what I would do. I have not cut sushi into quarters. I tried it once and I put it all in my mouth and then I said this was so unpleasant and my gag reflex was acting up. They're bite-sized. Listen, I don't have like a monster mouth like 90% of the world apparently. I can't unlatch my jaw like a snake and, and shove a whole fucking sushi in my mouth, okay? It's just not something I can do. I eat like a bird. I eat like just little nibbles. But everyone, everyone's always like, this, this always makes me so uncomfortable. Everyone's always trying to like, they're like, I can fix them. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Don't, don't, I'm going to, I'm going to, I can get him to eat good food. This guy's a freak. I can get, I can even, I can get him to eat. This is, I, this is my mission. I become like their weird little, little experiment. They're like, oh, here, this is, uh, this is, they just, they, they put down the most, you know, scariest looking food I've ever seen in my, in my entire life. And they say, they say, uh, okay, this is, everyone loves this. You need to eat this. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. And it makes me so, it makes me so uncomfortable because there's like, I've been in like groups and people are like, oh, no, eat this and eat this. And it's like, they're all just shoving stuff in my face. I don't want to eat it. If I wanted to eat it, I would have eaten it already. Just leave me alone. <laughs> the first situation was like first grade when someone tried to make me eat a gogurt. I don't want a gogurt. If I wanted a gogurt, I would have told mommy to pack it. I don't want, <laughs> I just, I don't want your gogurt and I'm not trading. I like coffee, but here's the thing. Okay. I wake up in the morning. I'm like, oh man, I'm tired. So I make the coffee, right? I'm like, oh, you know, some people like, like their coffee black or whatever with milk. So I get mine milk, sugar, chocolate syrup, and whipped cream. That is my coffee for the morning. And boy, I have one, I have a few glugs of that and my stomach does not feel good. I am miserable the rest of the day. You're an actual child. I'm not a child. Can people live their lives off of like preferential means? Can I just live my life with the things that I know is good and tasty? Do I need to, do I need to like eat like lobster thermidor every day? Like some kind of refined adult to, to, to get the adult pass? Hmm. Oh, this is really good. I say, I say. No, let me eat my, my, my chicken strips and, and my, 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 my heart stopper coffee and let me live my life. I'm not a child. Adults can do this. What's, what's the like with this pre prerequisite, you know, like all these people are like gatekeeping the things I like and saying I'm a, I'm a big baby. I'm a big baby. I cannot stand gummies. I cannot stand gummy anything, fruit snacks, gummy vitamins, any of it. It's like gross. I don't like, I don't like gummy things and I don't like things with filling. It's just not, they're not my favorite things. It, like, I know like some people like these gushers. It's not, just not my favorite thing. Cause I just don't like eating something and it feels like I just bit into like an eyeball and it exploded within my mouth. Oreos, I ate Oreos today. But the way I eat Oreos is I take the top cookie off and then I eat the cream and then I eat the bottom cookie and they're peanut butter Oreos. So they're extra delicious. I love peanut butter. See, there, there's something I like. Peanut butter is my favorite thing on the planet. Peanut butter is just the best thing. If it has peanut butter on it, I'm, I'm going, that that is something I can do. I like bacon. If I was a child, I would have, I would like like kid cuisine and like Lunchables. I don't like any of that. I don't eat sandwiches like lunch meat and deli meat, gross. Why is the meat cold? Meat is meant to be hot. Turkey, cold slices of turkey, gross. Turkey in general, not great. Lasagna, Um, I like lasagna. I, I just started eating things recently with sauce. Like whenever I got like chicken strips, I just eat them plain. But just recently I started eating things with sauce. 
like like honey mustard big that was a big moment for me because i didn't like i didn't like the sauce i didn't like i didn't like cold things recently yeah like you know an eight eight months ago so i i, I really i really i'm not even kidding I'm, I'm really showing some growth spaghetti no i don't like spaghetti what a hassle what a hassle i just want to put it in my mouth and be done with it why do i have to like why do i have to like why do I have to vacuum suck it up? And I don't like how thin it is. Let me just eat my food. Why does it have to be a process? What do you even mean? Okay, you put sp spaghetti in your mouth and then you have to go, you know, you have to do that. And I just, and then it's like falling out everywhere. And then you, you're, you, it's hanging from your mouth and you look like Cthulhu. Like, I just, I don't, I just don't like doing that. But ramen, I, I am very, I'm very gentle with my ramen. I guess ramen is kind of the same thing, but it's not as long. I make sure I'm very, I make sure to get like, most of it on the flat part of the fork and then i kind of then then i do i do I, I do vacuum suck it i am guilty there i can't i can only imagine ramen with like chopsticks i don't know how to use chopsticks i have no idea i have tried so many times all right big dilemma big dilemma big dilemma i've had this there's been a, this this has got my head fiji water we all know i don't know if anyone knows but there's there's like this this uh expensive water called fiji water and it's like tagline untouched by man if it's if, if they if it's untouched by man how do they get it in the bottle and if and they're like okay well a machine does it if a robot does it who built the robot i'm sure at least one man built the robot is it is it only women that built the robots i don't i don't understand <laughs> only women bottle the Fiji water and it's like I don't know I just I've always thought about that what does it mean by untouched by man like I don't want my water like even even like my normal water I don't want that to be touched by anyone are you telling me the water I drink right now is someone like sticks their hand in and swirls it around and I'm drinking like gross ass hand water <laughs> like why why is it just Fiji waters that that's untouched there's like two there's like there's like levels and types of water there's purified I can't believe I am producing no content right now and the topic of discussion is water I always drink I always drink purified water what's it, what's your favorite water what, what what do you guys like to drink what's your favorite water to drink i'm really i'm really just curious i really just want to get to know my audience T tap water no no go no good and then there's like sparkling water which like i go to like a, if you ever been to like a <clears throat> fancy restaurant they go like would you like still water and then they kind of there's always like an inflection in their voice or sparkling and they make it sound so good and then i proceed to i'm like oh um uh, sp uh sparkling yeah that sounds good you made that sound great and i get the sparkling water i'm like this hurt i'm under attack why is this hurt so bad and it tastes terrible this is not refreshing it is like eating tv static i should never have, have fallen for his his plot it's just bubbles last time i checked bubbles are free so i don't know why it's so expensive if you have thick water i have seen that before but that falls in line with like jello and i don't like jello so i'm never i'm never gonna have thick water but i will say the things i don't like outweigh the things i do like but i'm very passionate about the things i like